I just wanted to clarify the way uh, these videos are being done. I have one go. I actually do it all in series, and I have one go uh, at every one of the parts, and occasionally have some problems with audio, in which case I leave the parts and move on and try to complete what was missing uh, uh, when I had audio issues. And the reason I do, do this is basically completely technical issues, and I have a few seconds between the parts to think about what I want to say, but I, I do it in one go and I don't have scripted uh, anything. So uh, hopefully I can uh, take a very external point of view to mono uh, and try to recall the arguments I made before and kind of pull them up to the right point and make the argument compelling enough. And uh, uh, The point I was going to make though about the uh, control of mono is the, the thing that I, I, I do try to explain to people when mono is trying to uh, penetrate uh, Android and iPhone and, and all these things, it's basically trying to reach out to developers. Uh, when Microsoft is trying to put these APIs inside the competition, they usually are very uh, distrustful. Uh, the reason developers don't want to use Microsoft is very well known, because Microsoft has got some history of distrust and, uh, and issues like that. So, if we're talking about the issues of control, it's easier to bring control to Microsoft through somebody else, and that's usually Novell. And I've, I've done a, a whole series of videos about what Novell is doing in terms of uh, promoting Microsoft by proxy, uh, and hopefully I'll explain this a bit more later. But uh, Mono is a way to give Microsoft control, and in the next part, this, the, you know, next video, I'll, I'll try to actually give some specific examples as to uh, why that's the case, and how the control is actually being passed.